Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Do we have any comments on our PDD situation? Have you been to those parties before? I've been to his parties, no. I never went to his parties. No? No, man. You never get invited to go to, to his party? I, I think I was a little old. Oh, no, you're not old, man. You're looking yeah, young. No, no, I think I was a little old to be invited, is my point. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I've never been to any of his parties. I've never met the guy. I don't know any of those people. But it's disgusting, and I'm so grateful that justice is being served. And I really hope that there's a continuation of this and all of these scumbags get taken down because yeah know, children need to be protected i agree i agree kind of story i agree so gross anyway god bless Hey, tea sippers I hope you guys are doing good today. So you guys just saw what Corey Feldman had to say. Corey Feldman has been a whistleblower in the industry for years now. A lot of people dismissed him as being crazy, but now we see the chickens are coming home to roost. So currently, right now, it's breaking news all over Twitter. Uh, TMZ just dropped a bombshell new lawsuit that's coming from Tony Busby, I believe. And basically, there is another child coming out against Diddy. And this person was 10 years old, and they're saying, I was drugged and raped during an audition when I was 10 years old. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys the gist of this lawsuit. One of the most stunning Diddy allegations yet comes from an accuser who claims he was just 10 years old when the bad boy mogul forced him into performing oral sex to get a shot at stardom. The lawsuit was filed Monday in New York State by a John Doe accuser. According to the suit, he flew to New York with his parents in the summer of 2005 for an audition with Diddy. He claims Diddy said he wanted to meet with him alone before meeting his whole family. In the docs obtained by TMZ, the plaintiff says he met Diddy at a hotel near Madison Square Garden. He says he rapped several songs, which went well. Diddy allegedly said he can make the kid a star, and according to the suit, Diddy asked how badly he wanted to be a star, to which he replied he would do anything. At that point, he alleges that someone from Diddy's team gave him a soda, and after drinking it, he started feeling a little funny. He believes it was laced with GHB or ecstasy. The alleged victim says Diddy then told him to come closer and said something to the effect of, you have to do some stuff you don't want to do sometimes. Then Diddy allegedly took out his peen and forced him to perform oral sex. Oh my God, this is sick. And according to the suit filed by attorney Tony Busby, the plaintiff then passed out. When he woke up, he alleges that his pants were undone and he believed he had been raped. The plaintiff claims he was lethargic and still feeling the effects of the drugs when he cried for his mom and dad. Diddy allegedly threatened to harm the kid's parents if he told them what happened. He claims that he did tell his parents anyways, but they were terrified to report it to the police due to the potential consequences. Since then, the plaintiff claims that he has lived with night terrors and deprived of having a normal childhood. He is suing Diddy and all of his companies for gender-motivated violence and seeking damages. Diddy's legal team tells TMZ, the lawyer behind the suits is interested in media attention rather than the truth, as obvious from his constant press appearances and 1-800 number. As we've said before, Mr. Combs cannot respond to every new publicity stunt, even in response to claims that are factually ridiculous and demonstrably false. They add that they are fully confident in the judicial process and believe that the truth will prevail. Mr. Combs has never assaulted or trafficked anyone, man or woman. So that is the latest T coming in. This entire situation is very disturbing, especially when you're talking about this, including a child. But now what's even more interesting is if you guys do not know, there's a publicist, people call him the white male version of Jaguar, right? His name is Jonathan Hayes. And he's been out here for the past week or so saying that Diddy actually slept with Biggie's son. He says that CJ is gay and that he's in relationship with Willie Mack and that Diddy also slept with CJ. So I want you guys to watch this interview that he did with Too Strong. Go ahead and check this out. See anything or anything or hear anything about Puffy and Biggie having 
uh, sexual relations. No, but I think Puffy and Diddy's son, CJ, had sexual so, relations. Wait, 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 wait. Puffy was having sexual relations with Biggie's son? It it definitely seemed that way, oh. the way that they would talk. Look, Willie Mack, Willie Mack told me that he was with Puffy. That And him and CJ would go to the Freak Offs, but they were so jealous, right? And they weren't calling them Freak Offs then. They were so jealous of each other that if one is going to be in the mix and the other will, but I, I know, I know Willie Mack has been with uh, Diddy and I assume that CJ Wallace Jr. has also been with Diddy. Wow. Wow. They went to the parties. They were both in LA. CJ lives in LA. You got to think too, it's like Diddy's biggest artist of all time is Biggie. That's his flagship artist. That's his biggest selling artist. So, so, oh man, B, uh, P- Puffy was a low down piece of shit, bro. So I know you, you, you spoke before about um, DJ Khaled. Was they all involved with this Puffy stuff and all that too? DJ and and, and some other people. No, this was during the show One Shot. Uh, okay. Obviously, obviously DJ Khaled has, you know, been with Puffy at his Diddy parties. We don't know what they've done. But DJ Khaled uh, was doing a show called One Shot that I was involved in and Sway Calloway and RZA. And uh, they had their own version of like a, a Diddy freak off. Yeah. Did, did, uh, did CJ or have you, ever, have you ever met Puffy Kids? Mm, just on the Zoom call. Okay. But so, so have uh, CJ or anybody ever spoken to you or, or talked about uh, the, the Diddy parties and who may have been there or who was there. They, they, they openly talked about the Diddy parties. Oh man. Because, but they, but they weren't considered bad then they were considered the place to be. Right, 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 right. So they would have probably talked more freely about it. So let me ask, g- give me, give me some names of some people that was there that would probably shock us. I, I, I don't know that, but I just know that especially during the pandemic, during lockdown, they were still having the parties because they were talking about it. So it's like, oh, we're tired from being out with Diddy all night. Um, you know, th- that that type of thing. So like Biggie's son, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to reiterate that. You know, the Fed should definitely go talk to CJ Wallace, Biggie's son, and Willie Mack about what they've witnessed and what they've been put through. All right, so you guys just saw that interview. You know, again... I'm taking everything with a grain of salt until more proof comes out. But what struck me very interesting with this whole CJ situation is if you guys don't know, I remember 10 years ago when he had graduated from high school, he posted these really strange pictures, kind of like Leonardo DiCaprio on Titanic. We all know that Leonardo DiCaprio is very close to Diddy. So CJ posted a picture with him and his homeboy, and a lot of people speculated back then that he was gay. And so Faith ended up getting into it with Sandra Rose. And Sandra Rose is a lesbian, so I don't think she was being disparaging when she was saying that CJ was gay. And then Faith Evans was also accessed on the red carpet. Christopher Wallace Jr., son of Notorious B.I.G. and Faith Evans, graduated from high school this week, and a celebratory photo the teen posted to his Instagram page, which looked like a hilarious cap and gown reenactment of that famous I'm flying scene from Titanic, has led many followers to question his sexuality. They're pretty cool. Okay, so I hate to ask you this, but I know some blogs are kind of said some mean things about your son and tried to say that he was gay. How do you like? How do you feel about that? Cause I don't. I think it's rude, and you were just insensitive. These blogs just talk so much shit about everybody. Um, do you have any response to that? No, I don't really feel a way about it. We know where he is. He's if he was, I would support him and love him just the same. So, no. So a lot of people dismiss this. It's been years since these you know, accusations came out about his sexuality. But now with his former publicist coming out and blasting CJ, now I'm thinking maybe those rumors from all those years ago were true. So this entire situation is insane. They're basically saying that Biggie and Puffy slept together. You know, Biggie's sexuality has been under question now that people have been going back and looking at his lyrics. They've also stated that Diddy slept with Faith, allegedly, and now Diddy slept with Biggie's son. Child, 
I don't even know what to think at this point. But I leave the comments up to y'all. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. How do y'all feel about this latest lawsuit concerning the 10-year-old? And then also, do you believe what Jonathan Hay is saying about Diddy potentially sleeping with Biggie's son? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit the video with the like, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Blitz, he's, he's spitting high five. <laughs> Girl, you the one that's high five. You wasn't my man's mom, I tear that ass up. Thank you. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.